Hey Toy Addicts, this is Jody, and I am going to finally do sort of a quick room tour of my Strawberry Shortcake room. I've been putting it off because I have so many projects I want to do and ways that I want to make things better, but this is going to have to do for now. Uh, disregard any sort of dust that you may see or piles of stuff that are in places where they don't belong because that's just how things are right now. <laughs> so let's see, where should I start? Hmm. I'll start over here at the door, right above the door here. I have the cut and sew train and then some patterns and posters. Now I do want to tell you that a lot of sections of this room you have already seen or I have already filmed videos of, um, and I talk more in depth. I'm just going to kind of quickly go over things. This is my greeting card wall. And, um, I haven't done a video on this before, but a lot of other things do have videos. I have over a hundred different strawberry shortcake videos, most of them pertaining to my collection on the channel. So if there's something you want to see more in depth, or know a little bit more about, go and check out a lot of those other videos. This is my birthday supplies slash cork boards door <laughs> to my closet here. The last time I showed these, I didn't have all of the birthday candles. I actually, I have one through nine now, but I think there's a zero. Correct me if I'm wrong, or let me know if there is. If you have a zero or have ever seen one, let me know. These are some cork boards that came from Claire's. Um, most of my collection is vintage stuff, although there is some newer stuff mixed in here and there. This is my Christmas stuff, and you see the Christmas lights up there along the top of the wall. And this whole Christmas ornament thing is something I have been wanting for a long time to redo. And I am going to redo it eventually. <laughs> I want to put, I was going to put fabric on this cork board, but I think now I'm just going to paint it. Because I did do that DIY cork board painting video and I really liked how it came out. I have a um, fabric calendar over here. And lots of Christmas stuff. I've got some of these birthday, um, maybe not birthday, but year little statues here. And I've got some more stuff down here. There's some stuff covering up some other things. My vinyl head rag dolls there. And these are sitting on a bench that has a bunch of clothing in it. Um, I do have a video on all the stuff that's in there. That's Strawberry Shortcake Kids Clothing. So make sure and check that out. I've got uh, the giant Claire's Lemon Meringue rag doll sitting here with the small one in the dolly high chair. And then I've got a doll stroller with all my blow kiss dolls in it. I also have the mirror here. This really cute rug here. This is not Strawberry Shortcake, but it I got it from, I believe it was Overstock. And I actually think they still have them. It wasn't very expensive either, like $35 or something. But it's pretty cute. We have Strawberry here, and she is sitting in the toddler rocking chair and then we have the growth chart here with some clothes and stuff hanging on it and a couple of drinking wet dolls there and then behind that I've got some Halloween costumes and some of the preschool items a couple of the um, sleepover dolls and some other dolls here. We have my very happy home. My sister made me this mini version for Christmas last year out of uh, Fimo. 
and I do have a short kind of showing that closer. Up in the attic here, we have a lot of the sleeping dolls. They must be having a slumber party. And we've got some friends over here in the living room. Looks like Orange Blossom fell down. And we have some people, including the Berry Princess, hanging out out on the porch. This is my rag doll storage. I got this box from Target one year. They had dolls or something in it. I don't remember what, but it was empty on the shelf. And so I asked him if I could take it and they said, no problem. So that has worked perfect for my rag dolls. Back here on the wall, we've got records up here and clocks. And then art kits, Pie Man, and then down here we have um, kind of hidden some sewing art kits and a needle, needle quick latch pillow, and the tins here, and then the the giant clock watch. We've got lamps and tins up here. I did a video on these. Oh, I didn't show you the, the shelf beneath the rag dolls has a couple of sets on it. These are the, um, the reproduction berrykind animals, not the real ones, unfortunately. This um, brown box and that gray box are both Strawberry Shortcake and Strawberry Shortcake in Big Apple City on 16 millimeter film. And they are, there is some uh, different footage on those, which is kind of interesting. This shelf is kind of a mess down here, but I have had some games down there. We need to renew that. And Play-Doh stuff. Yeah, that shelf needs a lot of work. This is my uh, 91 dolls shelf. It also needs a lot of work. There's a Pie Man Funko Pop up there. And I just redid this shelf with Christmas stuff. And then tins up here and then the lamps again. We've got some pictures and things on the wall here. And my porcelain that's just below the window. There's a strawberry cookie jar there. Here's my plush. And then the small cut and sew dolls are in that box there. Some mugs. There's more mugs down there. And a cupcake plush. And then I have like the jewelry boxes. And the little make and bake jewelry kits. And way down here, I've got just a few miscellaneous things. Again, this shelf needs some work. Over here, I've got the school desk, the kids' school desk. And I've got uh, Sour Grapes and Peculiar Purple Pie Man and Porcupine Peak sitting at the school desk there. And then several school supplies on the desk. Pencil case and a ruler and whatnot. And then some folded up quilts underneath. And then above that, above that, I've got some purses on the wall and my cut and sew collection. I took the um, padding out of them and, or the stuffing out of them and just hung them up on the wall like that. And then I've got purses and some clothes and yes, even some vintage strawberry shortcake underwear. It's a little tag on it. <laughs> and this is actually the dress that my mom made me when I was a little girl. Which is falling down. And then, of course, this is the coat rack. With this, almost one of my favorite things, this raincoat that says it's raining cats and dogs. I absolutely love that one have some 91 dolls in their containers up here 
of the window and the berryware. I even have some posters on the ceiling because as a Starburst Shortcake collector, you run out of space. I do have plans for this space here, but uh, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> My Strawberry Shortcake bicycle is up there on the roof. And then let me go behind where I just was. I just recently did a video showing how I redesigned this whole shelf here. This is the majority of my newer Strawberry Shortcake collection. Oh, looks like some stuff fell over down there. But, um, and I, I ended up putting a bunch of it on my, and still have kind of been slowly putting a bunch of it on my eBay store. And I still do have some dolls that I recently listed and stuff up there. I did little like peek ins with the house and this house. And I did a whole video on this. So if you want to watch that, that's on the channel. And some of my little figures I decided to keep there. This shelf is not done by any means, but I have a couple of locust dolls in there boxes up here. I've got some radios here and I've got my Berrykin doll in her box and uh, ballerina and party pleaser dolls. I've got these uh, card games and the Atari game here and oh she does not go on this shelf. This is like a little health and beauty shelf with the vitamin bottles and stuff. I did a video just recently on this shelf. And my porcelain dolls from the Danbury Mint. And like I said, the rest of this, it's um, here you can see it. It's not how it's going to stay, though. <laughs> Up here on top of this shelf, I have my glassware collection. And then... This is where all my party pleasers live on this shelf. They're either at the bake shop or in the gazebo or in the big berry trolley. And this is a piece off of a um, cereal box. And then down here, this shelf has a lot of my school stuff and paper stuff on it. This right here is just a whole stack of paper stuff. And I did go through all of this recently, not recently, I guess it was about a year or two ago in a video. So you can see every single little papery thing, fun bags and stickers and cards and all the stuff that's in that stack there if you want. And here's some dolls and boxes. These dolls have all kind of been switched out over time whenever I find one I switch out for the better ones and the rubber stamps they came out in the mid 90s I've got a bunch of books there and lunch boxes down in the bottom ice skates and roller skates sitting down there a garbage can and that Weird box there, a shelf liner. This is a blanket. And I've got a suitcase here and some more art kits and some stuff that's kind of piled up here and not the right way. <laughs> I did a video when I reorganized all my fabric and sheets and towels and stuff. I did a video showing what all of these were before I put them put them together here so you can go and watch that and we've got music boxes and banks down here and we've got minis this is a whole section of minis here the 30th anniversary dolls up there some patches more minis 
found this set and I did a video just on this set. I found it at an estate sale for $8, which was exciting. I did a video where I redid this shelf here, like a DIY video. You can see how I redid that because this used to be one of those icky brown versions of these shelves that you get sometimes. And here's my deluxe minis. And yes, I'm sure those of you who are collectors will notice that I don't have, my collections are not complete. They're not pristine. Everything's not in packages. I'm not as worried about that. Most of my items I have found at thrift stores, garage sales, collectible shows. I haven't paid more than $25 for any one thing, anything that's in here. Uh, some of the things have co did cost more than $25, but they were gifts. So anything I've bought, don't mind my air purifier and my smoke alarm that needs to get put up. But this is the kitchen, the stove, and the sink, and then the refrigerator. The refrigerator is full of things and stuff that's not really neat or ready for display but we've got towels here this is a little apron my mom made me when i was little out of half of a towel that i still have and placemat these are uh, magnets napkin holder recipe box this is one of the canister boxes juice pitcher picture frame this is one of the newer this is a new set from the unique vintage website with their strawberry shortcake stuff that they had blueberry muffin um, box we've got air fresheners here these are all from Claire's and like the late 90s early 2000s I don't know why but I really liked the air fresheners. I like weird strawberry shortcake stuff. I'm more, more into the odd and different than I am into the dolls and stuff. I don't know why. Um, if you noticed, there's records all the way, almost all the way around up on the ceiling, all my records. Uh, you see that strawberry skull up there? My mom picked me up that from Target last year. It does light up, but <laughs> that was pretty neat. Um, jewelry. I did a video where I redid this whole jewelry situation here. And then I have lots of stationary stuff. Diaries and address books and autograph books. Porcelain figurines and more Christmas ornaments and puzzles and calendars so I think this is a, a little board that had this a print of this painting on it a little girl with a strawberry rag doll I think you've seen pretty much everything that's out so there you have it. There's how it is now. And I'll probably, as I make improvements in the room, I'll probably make more videos on those improvements. And maybe in another year's time or so, I can do another walk about the room. So there it is, guys. There's my collection of strawberry shortcake. A very... A uh, short version of a very in-depth collection. And like I said, there's over a hundred Strawberry Shortcake videos on this channel. So if you're interested in seeing things more in depth, hearing the stories about things, seeing all the little individual things on the shelves, go ahead and check out some of those videos. And thanks for watching. Make sure to comment down below, like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This is a cartoon cell.